It's time for Tales Land Ian. Gardens. Trivia. Please say hello to our contestants. From True in the Rainbow Kingdom, here is Pooh Carrier. And OC from K9, Five Shorts, here is Diodana Hall. And finally, a recurring character from All Star Carrier, which ended after 11 seasons, here is Oriana Roseville. And now, here is the host of Tales Land Ian Gardens Trivia, Tiffany and Young. Thank you, Christian. Hello and welcome everybody to Tales Londian Gardens Real Estate's Tales Londian Gardens Trivia. A new and improved game show in the Tales Londian Nation from three test your knowledge sources. Let's get started, shall we? All right, let's get started. For $225, in which year was the first balloon satellite communication? Kate Anna? Is it 1964? <laughs> Nope. It is not 1964. Ariana or True? Ariana? Is it 1960? Correct. Echo One was a giant metallic balloon sent aloft on August 12, 1960. Although it was not the first satellite to broadcast a message from space, it was capable of relaying signals to various points on the globe. Question 2. For $450. Which network was the first to use satellites to broadcast its programming? Ariana? Is it NBC? Nope. It's not NBC. Not the Peacock. Kate Anna? Is it PBS? Correct. PBS began using satellites on March 1, 1978 when the network introduced public television satellite service. Question 3. For $675, what is a DTH receiver? Kate Anna? Is it direct to home? Correct. Although a DTH receiver can collect signals on Highway 57, it really means direct to home. Question 4. For $900, which of the following statements best describes why TV satellite communication benefits rural areas? Ariana? Is it because of satellite TV? Rural areas are now able to receive broadband? Nope. It is not because of satellite TV. Rural areas are now able to receive broadband. Wrong statement. Audio jungle. The correct answer is, because of satellite TV, rural areas gained the ability to receive TV programming that it was not able to receive by standard methods. Satellite TV makes it easier for rural communities to receive programming they cannot get anywhere else, such as over the air or cable. Question 5. For $1,125, which of the following shows was the first to be broadcast live around the world? Kate Anna? Is it Our World? Correct. Our World was the first show broadcast live around the world. Performers in 26 nations performed in separate segments on June 25, 1967. Question 6. For $225, which war was considered TV's first live war? Kate Anna? Is it the Vietnam War? Nope. Nice try, though. Ariana or True? True. Is it the Persian Gulf War? Correct. Although TV impacted the Vietnam War, the Persian Gulf War is considered the first live war because of satellite news feeds from the battlefield. Question 7. For $450, American Idol was the spin-off from which British television show? True. Is it Pop Idol? Correct. Pop Idol was a British talent show series that began in 2001. The show spawned 42 spin-offs including the popular American Idol series. Question 8. For $675, which satellite relayed the first live television transmission between the United States and Europe? Kate Anna? Is it Telstar? Correct. Sputnik, launched by the Soviet Union, was the world's first satellite, but Telstar was the first to provide a transatlantic television feed in 1963. Question 9. For $900, how many people watched Elvis Presley's Aloha from Hawaii concert on January 14, 1973? True. Is it 5 million? Nope. 
close, though. Ariana, is it one billion? Correct. There was a hunk, a hunk, a burn in love when one billion people in 40 countries saw the King of Rock and Roll's Aloha from Hawaii concert. Question 10 is a bonus question, which means you have minus $225, meaning you can gamble up to $5,000. How much you wanna bet? I'll gamble $2,500. Okay, Ariana, for $2,500, which of the following was the first live satellite broadcast of a sporting event? Is it the Chicago Cubs versus the Philadelphia Phillies? Muhammad Ali might have floated like a butterfly and stung like a bee when he battled Joe Frazier, but the first live telecast of a sporting event occurred on July 23, 1962 when a portion of the Cubs and Phillies game was beamed by the Telstar satellite. Question 11. For $225, which current television program is the most popular in Europe? True. Is it Desperate Housewives? Close. But no Pokemon. Ariana? Is it House? Correct. Snooki and crew aren't number one yet in Europe, but House is. Question 12. For $450, because of globalization, which of these television shows became the most watched series in American television history? Kate Anna? Is it Mash? I'm sorry, that's wrong. True. Is it I Love Lucy? Correct. Ricky, we're popular. Experts say that one billion people have watched at least one episode of I Love Lucy. Question 13. For $675, how many communication satellites are there orbiting the Earth? Kate Anna? Is it more than 200? Correct. Space is getting crowded. There are more than 200 telecommunication satellites orbiting Earth right now. Question 14. For $900, how many people watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon in 1969? Kate Anna? Is it 600 million? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Ariana? Is it 528 million? Correct. 528 million people watched as Neil Armstrong became the first human to walk on the moon. Question 15. For $1,125 which media mogul was directly responsible for the globalization of television in the late 80s and early 90s? True. Is it Ted Turner? Correct. Ted Turner revolutionized satellite TV in 1980 when CNN started broadcasting. Okay, that is the end of our first round. Ariana is in the lead with $3,375, Kate Anna in second place with $1,800, and True is back on the board with $1,125. Now to Christian with sponsors. Christian, this what tales are you? This Tales Lending Game Show is sponsored by Nintendo, the international leader in the interactive entertainment industry, and Device produces a market software and hardware. Software products, services, devices, and solutions. Microsoft, where do you want to go today? Back to you, Tiffany. Thank you, Christian. Okay, so we have Ariana in the lead with $3,375, Kate Anna with $1,800, and True back on the board with $1,125. True, why is it so good to be on the show? In True in the Rainbow Kingdom. A kind-hearted eight-year-old, who is me, voiced by Michaela Lucy, lives in a whimsical land and possesses a very special magical gift, the power to activate the wishing tree and use its wishes to help people solve problems. Okay, Kate Anna is an OC from K95 Shorts. Can you describe why you are new to that series? Okay, Tiffany. When me and Brennan Jean met Delmarie in high school during passing period between classes, we were so happy to see her. And by we, I mean Brennan Jean and I. That's great, Kate Anna. Ariana Roseville, 
Can you explain why you are on the show and why are you from True Star Locker? You know, Tiffany, I am a character in Go Animate. She is one of the protagonists of the Volley Gets Grounded series. She's in the same team as Andrew Orozco and Lucy Nicole, one of my fellow Angela's Galaxy members and True Star Locker's keyboard player. Angela's Galaxy? You are a member too. True Star Lockers? You are playing the drums in that rock band. Anyways, let's go to the second round. Dollar values are doubled, so let's get back to the game. Question 16. For $450, which of the following statements best describes why the Cosby Show was so popular overseas? Ariana? Is it the Cosby Show was able to speak to a broad cross-section of world viewers? Correct. The Cosby Show depicted an upper-middle-class African-American family, which resonated with a cross-section of people, not only in the untied states, but around the world. Question 17. For $900. How many hours of American TV programming are shown in Europe? Kate Anna? Is it 266,000? Correct. Europe is hot for American TV programs, and people there watch about 266,000 hours of U.S. programming. Question 18. For $1,350, which of the following American talk show hosts is popular in the Middle East? Kate Anna? Is it Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's wrong. True? Is it Oprah Winfrey? Correct. One word, Oprah. Question 19. For $1,800, which of the following terms describes how the United States uses television and movies to influence public opinion in the Middle East? True? Is it Hollywood effect? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Kate Anna? Is it soft power? Correct. Soft power is the term that diplomats and others use as they try to bolster America's image in the Middle East using TV and film. Kate Anna, question 20 is a bonus question. How much do you want to gamble? $2,000. Question 20, for $2,000 and the lead. Which of the following statements best describes how foreigners view America and its popular culture? Is it while American television shows have become popular overseas, foreign opinions of America itself have soured? Guess what? You're right. Question 21. For $450, what was the name of the Hong Kong hotel featured in The Man with the Golden Gun? Kate Anna? Is it Peninsula? That is correct. Question 22. For $900, Kuwait City's La Meridian Hotel was taken over by which major chain in 2002? Kate Anna? Is it Marriott? That is correct. Question 23. For $1,350, which hotel chain derived its name from a Bing Crosby movie? Kate Anna? Is it Holiday Inn? That is correct. Question 24. For $1,800, what is the name of the real Hotel Rwanda? Ariana? Is it Mel Collins? That is correct. Question 25. For $2,250, which hotel chain is not operated by Marriott? Ariana? Is it Hampton Inn? That is correct. Question 26. For $450, which hotel chain is not operated by Hilton? True. Is it Ramada? That is correct. Question 27. For $900, how many hotel brands does Hilton operate? True. Is it 10? That is correct. Question 28. For $1,350, where is the smallest hotel in the Hilton chain located? Ariana? Is it United States? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Kate Anna? Is it England? That is correct. Question 29. For $1,800, which hotel chain is not owned and operated by Starwood? Ariana? Is it W? I'm sorry, that's wrong. True? Is it Fairfield Inn? That is correct. And finally, question 30, which is the last question. For $2,250, which hotel chain operates Amra Suites? 
Ariana, is it height? That is correct. It appears that our time is up. So we have Kate Anna in the lead with $9,200, Ariana in second place with $6,975, and True in third place with $3,825. So it is time for our final round, the category is video gaming and I'll tell you the question. Contestants, take a moment to write down your gambling amounts and Christian, announce the prizes for the contestants, will you? Thanks Audio Tiffany. Jump. The first place winner will receive a Breeze Airways trip down to New Orleans from 10. More details to come. Secondly, the second place prize the contestant will receive is a compact computer with a processor and a Windows operating system. More details yet to come. And finally, a third place prize will be a Nintendo Switch with games such as Mario Kart and other games that go with it. Back to you, Tiffany. Thank you very much, Christian. Here is the golden rule. You have 60 seconds to write down the correct answer to this question. Again, the category is video gaming, and here is the question for you all. Which Nintendo character appears alongside Donkey Kong in the title the 2013 game minis on the move? You have 60 seconds, starting right now. <laughs> Okay, true, you have $3,825. We'll start with you, true, what did you put down? Is it Mario? Yes, that is correct. You bet all of it, doubling it to $7,650. Okay, let's go to Ariana with $6,975. Did you come up with Mario? You did. You gambled $6,075. And that brings you to $13,050. And at last, we have Kate Anna with $9,200. Did you come up with Mario? Yes, you did. Did you wager enough to win? No, only $2,475. Bringing you to $11,675. You finish in second place. And that, my friend, makes Ariana the winner of the first taste Rondian Gardens trivia game with $13,050. Good job to True and Kate Anna who will be going home with cash prizes of $1,000 and $2,000. And unlike any other Jeopardy the game with a guest host and charity, Taste Rondian Gardens Real Estate and Elegy Siemens Late Night 48 will be both donating a total of $16,050 to House of Cards. A charity with two locations in Atlantic City and Las Vegas. I am Tiffany Young of Girls' Generation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Tales of Indian Gardens Trivia is filmed in front of a lit studio audience and is made by Flax Acre Fetty Causes and Kayla Alley Worldwide Productions.